Hey guys, Noob Tactical here. Uh, I just saw a video from uh, Frog Tech Sanctuary, and he kind of just did an overview of uh, all the blades he got for Christmas. I kind of like that idea, so I'm going to kind of steal it. Instead of making individual videos of each of them, I still might do that just to get a more uh, in-depth look of it. But um, I'm just going to do an, an, uh, an overview of the new blades I got uh, for Christmas. And uh, other things. And uh, first off, that's a tiny ball bearing from a yo-yo. And this is something I didn't know. I don't know if you guys know it, but I'm kind of a late bloomer to this entire thing. But this is the Night Eyes Doohickey that you know everybody's probably seen before. Did you know the front of this is magnetic? Did anybody else not know that? Am I like that <laughs> oblivious to some of this stuff? I was wondering why the front of it said compass. Let's put it around the right way. Compass. And then I remember hearing it, you know, tie a string to a, you know, a magnet or a needle or something. And it'll point north. So, I mean, that's a that's a good reason in itself just to have it with you every day in case you do get lost or something. It's a little makeshift compass. And a lot of people probably carry a compass. But for those of you who don't, a nice little indiscreet way first off let's start off with um new belt buckle knife attached to a nylon belt it's got a picture of a scorpion on it it's pretty uh awesome a little badassery right there why isn't this staying up there we go and it just pulls out And that's the knife. And it just slips right back in to the uh, belt buckle. Watch out for that hook, though. If you don't know where your hand is and you pull on it, it'll go right through your finger. And it goes pretty deep, too. I'm speaking from very recent experience as of, like, just now. So try to keep that out of the shot. Um, two is a key knife. I guys, you guys probably seen this before. I did a little review on this. It's a key. It's a knife. The Gerber G10 something or another came in the tack pack. Serrated edges, fine point on top. Nice blade. It's lightweight. I like. I enjoyed carrying this. Um. The Kershaw and Emerson uh, thing, uh, collaboration, I guess. Uh, the CN, the CQC 8, which I like. I just think like the whole look of it is just badass. The thumb stud does take a little little time to get used to. You know, you gotta flick out instead of up. Like most thumb studs, I, think I, I flick up. What's next? We got... This lighter. It's got a little cheese blade on there. Then we got a new neck slash boot knife. This is the SOG Instinct Mini. I had to, uh, which is pretty convenient. They have this uh, clip here that can go on either side. I had to switch it around to carry it in my left boot because my main blade car uh, carries on my right side. So I did a little paracord, you know, wrap on there. It makes it feel a lot better in the hand. And that's about it, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, and one more thing. If any of you guys have this, this work sharp, fielded, uh, field guided sharpener, it's badass. I love mine. But if you notice on the diamond plate sometimes, see how it's all dirty and black? I didn't know how to like clean that up. But I did watch a video where a guy took it, uh, 
like a sandpaper cleaner block eraser I guess you would call it and he cleaned his off with that and I'm sitting here like oh well I ain't got one of them but I do have a regular eraser let me just show you real, real quick this is what it looks like Bam. See all that cleaned up right down there? So, if you have one of these, you know, just a regular style pencil eraser, just rub it across right there. Clean it real nice, nice, nice. Oh, right here on the ceramic, too. Black line. Look at that. Bam. I didn't do a really good job. I just kind of rubbed it across, but... It does get most of it off if you don't have one. You know, if you want to get some of those uh, particles off or whatever. And, you know, beans that they, they stay thick, you can just, you know, wipe them off or, or whatever. I do not suggest using a rag, uh, like a Kleenex or toilet tissue of some sort. I don't suggest that at all because it does get bound up in the Diamond Stone. For those, you know, who don't know. But, uh... Alright guys, I appreciate your time stopping by, checking out this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.